What's up guys, it's Canadian, and today we're doing another Zarya Vaughn review. This one is for Orion. The match is from January 29th. He is a silver player on PC. We're going to be looking at his positioning, target selection, ability usage, reloading, ultimate usage, all that jazz, and hopefully we can help him be a better Arisa player by the end of this. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Also, if you guys have quality questions, this is the minimum 720p 60, so this is as good as it's going to get. Nothing I can do to fix it, and and it's fine. So, if you, no, don't bother commenting like, oh, the quality, blah, like, I can't control it. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So, first off, um, we're starting the game a little early, or, um, well, the, the match is here, but he's, he just switched to Orisa at this point. That's what we're looking at. So, it's only been about 90 seconds since the round started. It's his Eichenwald attack. And they've already taken the choke. So, your team's taken the, taken the choke. You're coming back as Orisa. What do you do, right? So if we come back here, we see we've got a Zenyatta on the side. And that's literally about it. There's no teammates on the point. So he really, he's really just trying to establish a forward position for his team. Which he does uh, right here. So I think this is a good kind of first step, right? You don't want to like put the shield here or up here because you don't have you don't have the team let me change this to blue you don't have the team maybe red oh, that's better yeah right here because you don't have the team to support you oh all we saw were the two healers so it's literally three versus a certain number of enemies i'm not sure how many there are uh, but i like this it's a really conservative shield you're just saying like hey i'm here enemy team don't forget about me but you're not getting over aggressive um so i like this initial placement yeah i definitely like the pull um, right here, when they were on the corner, I probably would have pulled a little sooner. Also, I try not to talk, talk about aim too much, but I'll, I think I might start talking about crosshair placement a bit. Your crosshair placement is a little question, like you're expecting them to come out of this door, which in my head, I think you've, your team has just killed some people and they're coming back, which is why you're aiming at this door. However, there are enemies alive right now, and you should really be aiming at them instead of at this door. I understand you're trying to like predict them coming back, but... Instead of shooting at people that aren't here, shoot at the ones that are currently there. So, like, you start shooting at the soldier only when he runs at you. And you do pull him, but you're just pulling him back. So this pull, like, it wasn't great at first, but it ended up working out. So I think you kind of lucked out there. This guy's also discorded, so this is a great target for you. I think the ideal play would have been if you had been shooting at him initially, and he tries to run, you pull him back. Or if, if he's you're shooting at him initially, and then he runs at you, you could even pull him right next to you. Or let's say right here, so we'd be smart. Pull him to the other side of your shield, and you could just ding him in the face while he's got the discord, and that's like a super easy kill. Uh, and this fortify is, this is a no-no. This is a poo-poo play. It's a new, uh, a new thing we're doing on stream. This is a poo-poo play. Your shield is full HP. No one has even hit you. And you're using your 14 second, in theory, for fortify cooldown. This cooldown is so, 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 so important to staying alive as Orisa. And yeah, definitely this you don't want to do this. So I, I see in chat you're saying I was regretting hitting it. So I'm glad we're on the same page here that you realize this is a bad fortify. So that's good. Hopefully we don't see uh, too many more of those throughout this game. Yeah, so this is where I, I don't talk about aim, right? So, again, I'm just going to mention this just this one time. I don't talk about aim, but Arisa is projectile, so you want to lead your target. You want to be put, p placing it in front of them as they as they strafe. So, you see you're behind him the whole time, which is, this is like in a movie, right? You know how, like, people are running and stormtroopers are shooting and they're never hitting Luke Skywalker? This is like you Stormtrooper Academy training right here. Yeah, definitely want to work on a leading so you have a new shield by the way which is good you can maybe refresh i would probably go to this side because if you place a shield over here like on the ground over there this reinhardt could easily rotate behind you and just start wailing on you so i'd probably stick to the side that you're on um, but i don't think you are going to do that all right well this reinhardt just wants to walk up to you and lose his shield this is an okay pull um, the, so my main my main like motto for Arissa's halt ability is you use it. Um, is that going to be a new thing? Exclamation mark! Poo poo. Maybe we could make that a, a, a counter. I, I'd be down. Um, but the main thing about halt is you want to use it to create opportunities that wouldn't otherwise exist, right? 
if someone's around the corner and you pull them out the corner out of from behind the corner with halt that's a good halt because you've taken something that wouldn't have happened otherwise and made it and created it so with this you took you've taken three people in the open and just made them more in the open which is like this person you're pulling them out from cover but the other two really n nothing's happening like if if this person was like stuck with a tracer bomb and you pull them together yeah that's a good halt because then you created a a grouping that wouldn't have existed otherwise you know so hopefully we see some more um i don't want to say fancy halts but more like technical halts instead of these ones you kind of just like toss out because i don't really think you're getting any value out of, of halts like this especially when your team isn't here to follow up like you don't have a fair to like hit this halt when they're all grouped together stuff like that the other thing is when you when you do halt you want to put your crosshair either along the path or or um, at the exterior of the halt so you see these lines right these enemies are going to be pulled right here so you want to place your crosshair right here and start shooting so you do damage uh, to them when they get pulled what's up dollar hunt good to see you man yeah so you see how they got pulled but you were still looking right here here I'll, we'll just go back and watch it uh, one more time Right here see they're pulled and you're still shooting right here and they were all pulled over here so you're not really comboing with your own halt at all so definitely something to uh, work on there another thing is you use uh, fortify when you have shield cooldown you want to use the shield cooldown first because it's a lot lower and not nearly as important to Arisa as fortify so it's really unfortunate that you fortify and then instantly shield kind of invalidating your fortify right here right no one's hitting you in this fortify this reload by the way is fine because you broke line of sight with the enemy and then while you were loading so that's a good reload that's a good example of when to reload you're also not playing your shield right you placed a shield and then you immediately left your shield so i i know i in my i mean i think you're trying to get an angle on these people which would make sense but here's where halt comes in right these people are hiding around this corner and you've placed your shield what you do in like a, a decent arisa play is you play your shield and you use halt to bring them back into your line of sight but what ends up happening is you used all your abilities got nothing out of them and then you're taking a more vulnerable position right you have no fortify no shield no halt you didn't get anything out of it, so you have to rotate over here where you won't have any cover and any shield just to hit the enemy team. This is where, like, halt comes into play, right? You establish a position, you fire at them, when they hide, you bring them back into your firing lines. Uh, alright, let's see here. I like, I don't mind the shield, this shield's pretty okay. <coughs> You were trying to pull him back so he wasn't so close to you, which was which was decent because he was in melee range and he was in his hammer range of you, so that was a good pull. Um it, it didn't seem it, it didn't seem like I pulled him back, so something strange happened there. And then the other thing that happened is you reloaded with 73 ammo in your magazine. Like your allied zen is transcending, so you really don't you really don't have to retreat. You you want to push forward during your allied trance, and you reloaded when Reinhardt there was an enemy Reinhardt right in front of you. So, um, so a lot of uh, like little things that were wrong there. Definitely push in with transcendence. Keep firing if you have ammo, and push the advantage. Canadian, can you answer if halt will pull through shield? Um, so here's the th so halt. If if this is a Rhine shield and this is Reinhardt. And you halt right here it's not going to pull anyone but this is what halts will do i'm pretty sure if reinhardt's standing here let's give him his flowing hair reinhardt's flowing hair and you halt and the tether attaches to him and then he throws up his shield it will still pull once the tether is actually on someone it will still pull them except for Arissa's fortify because Arissa's fortify cancels all crowd control so if the if the halt tethers to Ryan while well, his shield's down and then he puts up the shield, I'm pretty sure it would still pull him. I know if for a fact, like Reaper Ghost form, as well as Zarya Bubbles, if the tether's on them and then they use their uh, CC negating abilities, they'll still get pulled. So that's why I think that would work in theory. <clears throat> yeah, someone's saying the ball can pass through the shield, like if this is Ryan and the... Here's Ryan with his flowing hair again. 
and the ball passes through like this, then you can pull Ryan for sure. Yeah, which is what you tried to do, and I think something just like funny happened with it. Yeah, so there's the reload, by the way. Also, the target. Uh, mm, actually, no target selection is fine here because this guy does. He is an enemy using their ultimate, so I understand why you turned on him. And again, this is where Halt would come into play. You see how he's like jumping around everywhere, making him hard to hit as a projectile character. That's where Halt like really helps with that. You're like, hey, buddy, stop jumping around. You halt like right here. He could. He, you halt right here, you place your cursor right here, and then when he gets pulled in, you're just sitting there sh dinging him in the face because the halt reduces their cooldown and affects their movement speed. So, think of halt like a damage enabling ability. Alright, good focus on the Ryan shield. I like the forward placement of the barrier, right? It's not it's not too aggressive, but you are taking away some of the points. I really, I really like this barrier. Um, so that you were so close, so close to with this halt here. So that's a baby diva. The you the you were trying to pull her out of cover, so your head's in the right place. Just the execution was a little lacking. You wanted to shoot it right here because you need you need a diagonal line onto the diva through the doorway. But your head is in the right spot. That would have been a great halt. Don't don't focus the mercy. This is not your job. This is Valk mercy. You're not going to kill her as Arissa. Just focus on people that you can actually hit like this Reinhardt. He's behind you. Yep. That's a good fortify. You ran out of ammo, so I can't really fault you for that reload. Pull him away from you? Oh, he died. Okay. So right here, another thing I like to do versus D.Va is you're ha gonna have a halt in one second. When D.Va's mech self-destructs, I like to halt the ground so she doesn't get all that vertical space, the, all that vertical height from getting ejected. Um, so I like to halt the ground so it pulls her right here, ding 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 ding, you kill her so she doesn't get her mech back. Hey, there you go. Yeah, you, you got the right idea, but your, your halt placement, you're, you're tethering enemies and pulling them, which is... Like, which is like probably 20% of a halt. You want to pull them, but you also want to pull them into into positions that empower your team, right? So here, let's look at this one more time. Like, you pulled her. You pulled her, like, two feet. Like, like while well, you are pulling her, which is good, like, there are, like, in this, in this screen, there are so many, like, better halts, right? Like, you could halt right here to bring these two together for a Pharah rocket. Um, you, you, again, they're easier for you to shoot in the face. And, and like, this is, this is like, it's good that you're pulling her, but you're not to get, this is not really like a high value pull. You're just kind of like relocating them from being in the open to being like more in the open. And again, the cursor placement, make sure you place it on the halt if you are going to do stuff like this. Shield, put your shield down, you madman. All right, so let's talk about this. Uh, three, two, one. Yeah, so imagine if you had halted this Junkrat, right? Like right here, you halted him right here and just, sh like Junkrat has a pretty decently sized head hitbox for being like a 200 HP character. If you had halted him right here and killed him and shot him in the face because he's a big threat, you know, that would have like really helped. Um, but right here, this dude's dumpstering you. You gotta, you gotta put a shield down. Can enemies still use their abilities if they get halt or nope? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Yo, what's up, Plof? Plof? What's, how's it going, dude? Yeah, I definitely missed that shield opportunity. I really hope you guys get this. Alright, this shield's good. I would have liked to see a, a like just a smidgen further so you could stand on the point and contest. Um, Alright. So let's talk about target focus. I saw a Reinhardt, for sure, and that, I would have looked there first, but then you see... Like, look at this guy. He's just flying across the screen. But this guy's dumpstering your team, right? I, so again, this is where you can halt him net right next to you and just dumpster him in the face and like punch him if you have to. 
Alright, well, you, you did kill him, so good job. I like I like to kill him. Just, I, you know, I'm going to try not to repeat this. Um, but definitely, tr you one tip for sure for your play is you need more value out of your halts. Halt is Orisa's best ability, hands down, by far. You can probably reload right now, by the way. Nothing's happening. Nice. Again, look at this no value halt. So so two things here, let me go back a few frames. Okay, you have an enemy here and an enemy here. Okay, so halt a super good denying high ground. If you halted and pulled this junk rat down, your whole team can pounce on him. If you halted and pulled whoever this is down, your whole team can pounce on them. But instead, you're you're just halting a diva that's already standing in the open. Plus, diva can actually absorb your halt. Like, just the, the number one thing about halt is use it to create opportunities that don't otherwise exist. I'm gonna try my best to not call it out every time and be like, "There's another poor halt. It could have done this," and just try and move on because I know you guys don't like it when I repeat myself. So. You could have halted this guy or this guy. Instead, you halt this guy. No, no. Burp. You're pulling them like a foot, right? It's n not good. Reload. You're re you started reloading with 80 ammo after Rip Tire voice line came out. That's another. That's another mistake, right? If you've got ammo in the mag, don't re because Arisa has the longest reload in the game at. That's a five at 2.5 seconds. So rip tire, big threat, big threat, big threat. You want to shoot the rip tire, but now you're stuck reloading. Nice. Rip tire is still around. Uh, probably did not need that fortify. You were full HP. Again, you're halting Diva. You're halting Diva back like four feet. I mean, I, I like your target selection. In terms of this diva is literally letting you feed off of her. So your target selection is fine, right? Arisa's a tank melter, right? You hear all these dings you're getting onto diva. That's really, 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 really good. But you don't need the you don't need halt to shoot the diva. Is is what I'm trying to get at. You're you shooting diva is good, but you're not getting any value out of your halts. I know she's dead. Yeah, like imagine if you halted her like right here. Boop, blow her up, easy. Now she's this now she's this tiny little running AD AD spam hitbox that's a pain in the butt. Oh, except you just destroyed her. That's a that's a kudos, dude. That was I was not expecting that, but damn, you just wrecked her. Good stuff, dude. Shield down, really good. Reload as you disengage, really good. Uh, probably didn't need that fortify, would have waited, and like if this Ryan fire striked, I probably would have fortified, but you fortified a little early. Yeah, there you go, there's the fire strike. But the difference is like, you would halt after you see that he fire strikes, not before. Um, alright, let's talk about the supercharger. Let's see here. Mmm... Hmm. Hang on. Let, I, let's talk numbers advantage. I think you guys are up a lot. You killed Diva. So you guys have five people and they have five people, according to this right here. Right? You lost Farah and they lost Diva. Now it's five versus. Um. No, sorry. It's it's five five. Now it's five four in your favor. Okay, I could I could get behind the supercharger. You're trying to win a five versus four. I could see that. Uh, the placement, I probably would have placed it like over here with a shield, just so it's a a little harder to get to potentially, or at least place your shield down to protect your supercharger. Actually, I wonder if this like little baffle is protecting the supercharger. That's actually kind of neat. I wonder if it's like actually blocking people from hitting it. That's actually a pretty neat little spot. I don't think most payloads have anything like that. Uh, yeah, no, it's only this one because it's a battering ram. Hmm, that's kind of that's pretty. That's a pretty cutesy little uh, supercharger spot, huh? I, I learned something. Yeah, look at this guy, right? Pull him out of cover with this halt. No. 
What are you doing? You're just letting him go? He's hidden you, bro. Bro, he just did like two, three hundred damage. Watch this. He just did like two hundred and eighty damage to you because you let him go. When I supercharge, do I place it behind me? I pla I try to place it in a spot where it, it gives my team the maximum terrain to work with while minimizing how much how many angles the enemy team has on it. Dude, there you go. No, 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 look at your halt though. You don't don't halt and look away. No. Okay, Zen finally cleaned up the McCree. I'm liking these shields so far. You're just like slowly taking space, but definitely, definitely that ignoring the McCree was like very bad. You had the numbers advantage. You had halt. You had fortify. Definitely could have killed them. Look, this is a good example of halt, right? This mercy is trying to run away, and you say, "Uh, uh not today." But remember, place your crosshair right here. That's a great example of halt. Beautiful. See, you pulled her and Junkrat capitalized and killed her. That's a great use of halt. Yeah, I'd probably fortify here too. Um, aw, unfortunate. Oh, you got long spawn rip. Super bad halt. You're halting with no like visual confirmation where anyone is, and also like, I halt has a pretty good range, but it's not that good. That would be insanely OP. <clears throat> I like the target selection. Really, really good target selection. Close, right? You are halting, baby diva. Just want to shoot it a little lower, I think. I, yeah, that was good. That was that was pretty good. Wasn't the cleanest, but it was still pretty good. All right. So this time, when you're reloading after the riptar, it's because you ran out of ammo, right? So that's that's way different than the last time you reloaded. So this reload is totally fine, obviously. Yeah, that's a rip. Th so what you do now is you go this way and you go that way and you leave because you are you are you are down both healers. Just just leave. Just get out. There's no reason to be here anymore. Two. Just turn around. Just no 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 no. Just turn. Just run this this way. Eh. Yeah, you're gonna feed. Also, that was a terrible shield. Two. Even if you did want to stay and fight, you shot it way too far. You need to put it. You couldn't should have put it on like this corner or something if you're gonna stay, which you shouldn't. Because, like, this shield's not providing you with any cover. The whole team is on this side of the shield. That's, that's a feels bad. Just leave, bro. Just leave. I Also, like, I'm, I wasn't... That halt was bad, but, again, you're, it's, like, two... Ver, it's, like, three versus six, so I wasn't really going to say anything about it, but it wasn't a great halt either. Hey, you got out. Kudos to you for leaving. Good job. Okay, good shield placement, right? It's not too aggressive, but still gives your team space. You're, see how your Junkrat didn't get out and he, he just staggered your team for like another 20 seconds? I like the focus on the Reinhardt shield. Um, that's a bad halt. There was someone on the high ground here. You could have pulled them down. Or Reinhardt's barrier was just destroyed. You could have pulled him into your team. Both probably better halts. Uh, you're you're shooting at a lot of nothing again. I try not to talk about aim much, but when these these two big tanks are around, just place your cursor on one of them and you'll be golden. There you go, there you go. Hit that tank. I'm glad you haven't fortified yet because you haven't needed to. You, you you seem for some reason you have all the you have discipline now with your fortifying and this like heated moment when you've taken a, a bit of spam damage. So good job there. Um, is it better to shoot while you're leaving or should you just book it out of there? That's a good question design comment and it really depends on the situation. So if I can, it, it, it really depends. A lot of the times I will just straight up 180 and not shoot and run. So I'm A faster and B my head hitbox is smaller. And some other times if I can like secure a kill on the way out, I will keep shooting. But, for, but if you're trying to just like straight up leave and get out, then yeah, just turn and run. 
shield my man hole. I was confident you were going to, but you were kind of scaring me there. I like that fortify. You reduced that 100 damage to 50. These halts, though, eh, eh, that's really not that's really not doing anything. Okay, push the advantage. You're also reloading with 70 when there's all these enemies here, but push the advantage with this transcendence. Oh, oh no. Okay, so for, okay, supercharger. You can place a supercharger like right here, right? It will reach all this space, right? But the enemy team can only really hit it from like here. If I draw it again from like this, from this angle. So this is like you could even put it like right here, somewhere, somewhere here. Maybe even you could even put it like on the stairs, like in the middle of the stairs. So it reaches you know all the space, but the enemy team can't really hit it. But you messed up the the follow up shield. Uh, not sure. Like you placed it. Oh no, you did get the shield. Excuse me. That's my mistake. You got the shield. That's my bad. Unfortunately, Junkrat said no supercharger for you. Oh, okay. Look at this halt. Uh. <laughs> okay, actually, no. Let's do look at this halt, right? Here's Reinhardt. Mercy is right here, and Reinhardt is for some reason not shielding the uh, self destruct. But the halt like kind of just like pulls them all together and explodes. So I don't think that was on purpose. It just kind of, uh, you know, looks pretty. You halted and a bunch of people died to self destruct. So that well, that is cool. Um, I don't think it was on purpose. So in the future, what you can do to do this on purpose? Let's say let's try and draw a picture. So let's say you have a Reinhardt, and here's his shield. Right here's Reinhardt with his flowing hair, and there's a self destruct. Right, and and let's say a self destructs in front of Ryan. If there's an and and Reinhardt's ally is standing right here, let's draw Mercy with her flowing hair. Um, you can halt, like sit, look how they're they're in different positions, right? One is closer to this edge than the other. If you halt like right here, you can pull just this person and not Reinhardt, and they will get pulled out from behind Ryan's shield and then die to the self destruct. It's so satisfying when you do it, and it is definitely a way to use halt. I, that's not what happened here, but just for future reference. You got, she got one, two, three with that self-destruct. Oh, baby. So you see how that McCree was on the high ground? I think I saw him shooting here. Three seconds on halt. Right here, right? This would be a good time to halt him off the high ground. Right? I know it's not up, but right when it comes back. Mm, not a fan of that barrier. Because the payload is just going to run right through it. Again, this halt is not accomplishing anything. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that. It's if you're trying to deny them coming to the payload, I would wait till you could like see who it is. Like, what if this is Moira and she just fades or Tracer or something? You know what I mean? Wow, it's a Moira who faded. <laughs> yeah, so that's why you want to wait to see uh, who it is before you halt. Like, for example, you know the enemy Reinhardt's gonna come back, right? He's pretty slow and lumbering. That's a great character to halt back because he only has the one movement ability. So if you see like Reinhardt lumbering through this door and then you pull him back, that's a lot better because you a know it's Reinhardt and b he probably wasted his movement cooldown already. Versus Moira, she can just fade out of your halt. It's a good idea. Just gotta work on the execution a little. Uh, fortified way too early. Place a new shield. 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 Place a new shield! You placed it too far! <laughs> uh, okay, I like that halt. It's, uh, you're, you're getting there. You're getting there. Um, so... You you do like mid level halt oops you do like mid level halts, which are the worst halts really. Um, you either want to do like low ground halts or up high halts because with up high halts, when they fall, you have all the space to shoot them as they fall, and with low ground halts, um, they don't their head hitbox doesn't move at all when you do um, a low a low halt right if diva, if diva baby is right here and I halt on the ground she just moves 
horizontally and that's it right there's no vertical movement so you can track her head but with these middle halts her head goes like up and then down like really quick so you just try and you know stick to one or the other this is the one i recommend but there's a lot of players that do this one also models pdx Ooh, do you live in portland thanks for the follow man welcome to the stream dude zero ammo reload so good you're losing a lot of using a lot of your magazine uh oh the shield again shield placement too far the junk rat is right here you need to protect your team from him hey, what's up spaceman i like this halt just to put the junk rat in front of you that's not bad that's pretty good yeah there you go that's a good halt There you go. So the main thing, the main takeaways from that first round are your shield placement is pretty good. You have some questionable shields. Same with your fortifies and your halts definitely need the most work. You want, uh, since halt is Arissa's best ability, you want to get as much value out of each one as you can. So, junk can't escape Arissa. That's right. Sorry, I I, I, I should have fast forwarded. But I was taking a drink of water. <clears throat> okay, so um, quick shield stacking lesson. So shields last fifteen seconds, I believe. The cooldown's eight seconds. So you probably should have shielded when there was like eight seconds to go, so you have the cooldown back right and the game started. And then also, um, you can shield stacking is when you shoot your next shield straight up while this one's getting damaged. So when it so shields travel for six seconds uh, straight up in the air. So by the time it lands, your cooldown will be at two seconds. So you can really get tons and tons of shield health as if you shield stack properly. That was like a rapid fire explanation on how to shield stack. There will be a better explanation in my upcoming Arisa guide. All right, this is this is cute, but no. <laughs> you only pull a Pharaoh or like Flying Mercy if you have something to combo like a Widowmaker or a Roadhog. Um, because if you pull Pharaoh, then Roadhog can hook you know, Pharaoh Mercy, and if you pull Widow, then she can shoot them in the face. So this is this is a cute attempt, but mostly this is this is a no no. All right, I, uh, I'm glad you haven't reloaded yet. Look at this. So this is a this is a halt right here, right? I know you don't have it, but this guy's like trying to climb the stairs. You halt like right here. You pull him off the stairs. You're like, yo, where do you think you're going? Right? You change where he wants to go. You change his destiny with halt. Ryan's charge does ignore halt. No, it does not ignore halt. Halt will still pull a Ryan that is charging. Yo, Sicarius version two. Thanks for the follow, man. Welcome to the stream. I think you fortified a little early there. Yeah, you fortified at full HP. Try not to do that. I like to focus on the Winston. The the bubble or uh, shields do not affect Winston at all because his damage, everything Winston does except for maybe leap damage, uh, goes through barriers. I like the target selection though. She so shield like right here. Right, you don't need to shield right next to them because then they could. If you shield this, they could walk through it. But if you shield like right here, you're like you're not gonna walk through this because by the time you cover this distance, I will crush your HP and I'm going to shoot you. All right, it's a little aggressive, but they also backed up, so it worked out. Focus the diva for sure. See, look at it. Let's see. Look at this hall. This is a good hall. You can't see the diva. Can see the diva. Boom. Good hall. Where are you looking? Where are you looking? Focus that diva. No, no, focus the 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 Pharah is not your concern. Maybe there are comms happening that I can't hear. Maybe they're talking somewhere and I just can't hear it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The diva. There you go. There you go. This is good. Pressuring the diva, she's discorded, you shield her off so she can't damage you. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Well, that's a good reload, because you're not fighting anyone. Um 
okay, I'll give you that. It I it worked out because Zen was all over the mercy with you, so that worked out. I was not expecting that to work out. Um, one thing you can do with halt when you have like a torb is you can pull people. Let's hear what's a turret look like. That's a turret. You can pull people into torbs like turret uh, sightline. That's another like great use of halt. Shield, shield right here. Yeah, I don't usually talk about aim, but but wa watch the cursor. I'll put a dot where the cursor is. Oh, whoops! I then deleted the dot because I pressed the wrong button. Like, there's so much time the cursor is not like not on anything. Like you, like you shot like a decent amount just like at these buildings. Did they affect? I must have offended you in some way. But you guys got the diva mech, which is good. Yo, Jots one, welcome to the stream. Shield, my my bro, my dude. You have you have all your abilities. You want you want to put a shield here for sure. You just let that sol you just let that soldier rock at you when you had shield. Shield, my man. <laughs> Why aren't you shielding choke? What is th what, dude? Dude, it's been like two shield cooldowns. Shield, no! <laughs> Why aren't you shielding? Okay, that's a fine reload because you broke line of sight. Why aren't look at no? He died because you're holding on to shield. Why? <laughs> he died. You had shield this whole time, and this your poor Torbjorn died because you didn't shield. Oh man. 130 ammo reload. Definitely didn't need to do that. I mean, you are breaking line of sight with the enemy, which I understand that that's why you reloaded. But then ask yourself, why are you breaking the line of sight with the enemy right now? You, you, they have nothing to stop your damage. They just wasted wisdom. You could just be like a minigun firing at, at their approach. So there's really no reason to break line of sight. He died so dramatically, almost got around the corner. <laughs> Yay! We did it! Woohoo! <laughs> there you go. Look at this. Look at all this damage you're doing. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. See this Winston? See this Winston? Halt him like right here. Boop! And your whole, like, he'll get pulled into turret range, Zenyatta's right here, Diva's right here, you're right here, Torb's right here. You pull this Winston like he's dead. He has no shield, no leap. New shield, new shield, my man. New shield, let's go. Uh, uh, that one's a little backwards. Again, shields don't do anything to Winston. Winston, all of da Winston's damage goes through shields. Mm -hmm. I like that pull. So he, Winston's juggling this guy in the corner. Um, benefit of the doubt here, this pull kind of stopped him for a split second from juggling this guy because Winston does have to be in like melee range to juggle. So this is a good pull to stop Winston juggling this guy. Like Foc no, focus the diva, not the Lucio. Definitely the diva. There you go. Look at those dings. Ding, 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 ding. Boom. New shield. Oh god, the toe sticking out. I think you're okay though. Yeah. See this fortify. Uh, you have transcendence going, so you probably didn't need to fortify, right? You transcendence is all over you, so you probably don't need to fortify here. Good kill on the Lucio. You you do manage to still get like good kills without using halt, which is like kind of surprising to me. So this Lucio is one of those guys that he just like flies everywhere, right? He's like jumping and skating. It's so, like when Lucio's like jump, I usually halt the ground and it's like, hey, stop with your fancy schmancy jumping dancing business, and then you just like shoot him a bunch in the face. Um, okay, Winston and Lucio are down. Uh, and Mercy. Uh, they, the enemy team only has three right now. And you have, what, six? Uh, probably, probably didn't need the supercharger. You probably could have held it, didn't need it for this fight. Damn it. Almost. 
So Mercy went to Rez Torb, and then they both died. Which is, like, there's nothing you could do to... The only thing, like... Yeah, there's really nothing you can do, because you don't have an angle to, like, pull him to the side. So I understand this halt. You were just, like, trying your best to save your team, so... I get it. It's unfortunate. That was just a, honestly, that was a really good high noon. That sh that shield play was still really funny. I'm gonna chuckle about that probably for a couple more hours. At least say you put a shield up this time. The shield was like, look at the shield, right? So qu quick shield lesson. If this is the battlefield. Uh, a top-down view and here's the enemy team and here's your allied team you want the shield and l let's say this is the halfway point you never want your shield to be farther than the quarter point or I can't I'm not gonna delete it but because if you put the shield in the middle the shield curves right so technically the enemy team can walk through the shield sooner than you can go to the shield because of the shields curve so you always want to like take take the halfway point between the two teams and put your shield no farther than half of that, so a quarter of the distance. Right. So you want to put your shield here so you can use the shield and then there's all the space the enemy has to cover to get through your shield. Today I learned Canadian hates fancy schmancy dancing and must be the town of Footloose. <laughs> <laughs> Also, also another thing about the shield, since it's so far forward, it, it leaves so much of the sky open for Farrah to get an angle on you. If you shielded a lot closer to you, then Farrah wouldn't have as much of an angle to hit your team. <laughs> yeah, she just, like, dinked, uh, dinked Diva there. Uh, that halt's really not doing anything. Don't, like, th I, this is with all characters. Don't use your abilities mindlessly. Right? You're, like... Like, your abilities are what make your character unique, and the reason... And the, they're what make your character strong in, you know, whatever situation. And if you just use them mindlessly, you're, like, throwing away what makes your character strong. Always reload with 150 rounds left. That's what Kanesha told me. <laughs> this is a decent shield. That was an okay shield. Not my favorite placement, but it, it could be worse. You have 82 ammo left and you were full HP, there was no reason to reload there. New shield, new shield, new shield, new shield. Whenever if you change your angle and you have shield, put a new shield. There you go. Again, it's a again, it's a little far because the enemy team could run through it before you can before you can like react. Again that uh okay, that hall almost didn't do anything, but Right as you did it, Arissa tried to leave, right? So it did It did pull two people out of cover. So I'll give you that one. That's a good halt. You made her use Fortify because you used halt. That's huge because your halt's only 8 seconds and Fortify is about 14. New shield, new shield. There you go. Again, that one's not doing anything. New shield. Oh, again, you see how they ran through the shield and killed you? It's because you the placement was bad. Oh, well, they didn't kill you because your healers are on point. But like, you should have shot it like right at your feet, right here. Because again, ah, gosh, not now I'm repeating myself. But you guys get the idea. Shoot it down here, not over there. <laughs> also, 84 ammo reload. Now, you broke line of sight. I'll give you that reload. You were retreating and you broke line of sight and you weren't doing anything. So that reload's fine, actually. Thank your healers. I like that halt. Arissa's trying to retreat and you pulled her back in. That's good. No, shield! Shield! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. If you're gonna do an a, a, a aggressive Arissa versus Arissa push, which, by the way, is fine, because you, uh, you probably have all your abilities up and she doesn't, is you shoot the shield like right behind her shield so you take her shield away and then when you run through you're you can deal damage to her and she can't deal damage to you yeah because you have you have your abilities here right here boom shield right here ding 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 okay there you go you still managed to crush both of them good job there you go 
There you go. That was a good halt. <laughs> if they're running a single tank dollar hunt, just kill the other tank first and then focus on Pharaoh. <laughs> All right. Well, victory for you, Orion. Good job. Congrats. Definitely work on your halts. My number one piece of advice to you is work on the halts. Then your shield placements, you're, they're a little... They were they were okay, but in this last round, we saw a lot of shields that were just a little too far. Um, so definitely work on being a little more uh, reserved with your shields a bit. Um, your fortify usage is decent, but you fortified a lot when you didn't need to. If your team is using transcendence, you definitely don't need to fortify unless you're like actually about to die, like you get stuck by a tracer bomb or something. That, then yeah, of course, transcendence doesn't help you there. So fortify. You reload a little bit too much. I definitely try and rein that in. Your target selection is pretty good in that first half. It's actually pretty good overall. Definitely, a, a Diva or Arissa is a tank killer. So whenever you can, focus on those enemy tanks, and you'll be fine. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you like this, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also catch these live on Twitch at Twitch.tv/Canadian. You can get any announcements on Twitter, and you can also join my Discord to ask me questions. All those links will be in the description, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope it was helpful, and have a good one. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Check out these two other videos on the left hand side and be sure to subscribe by clicking that button on the right. If you like all of this stuff, you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and of course YouTube. All the links will be in the description below. Again, thanks so much for watching guys and have a good one.